Hello everyone, it's Old Chains here with a uh, little tutorial for you guys called uh, maybe the series of Super Tips and Tricks. I did a video quite some time ago, and yeah, I thought I was maybe time to make a video because I just yeah been kind of stacking off, so I maybe thought let's do one. So this is a little tutorial about Cinema 4D, and it's about um, how I call it like a um, UV mapping. If you don't know what UV mapping is, it's like putting in a block like a um how do I call it how do you call it a a picture kinda so or just a skin so as you can see I was working on something in a model it's like a dog model I mean a wolf actually and I've been working on this actually um I, I used UV I UV map this every single bit of it so yeah as you can see this is a mouth it's now UV mapped so we're gonna UV map that thing. But before we're gonna do that, I want to see um, how to do the basics really. No, 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 yes, wait, why am I doing it? No, let's just do this one, okay? Oh wait, let me think. Um, so we're back and uh, maybe thought, so I got a block here and we first do the basics, like a little easy, we just with like a head, a Minecraft head. So that is size 50, 50, 50. Every one of those. So this is a Minecraft head. Now it doesn't really look like it's just a block. And I'm gonna give you first the basics how to make it like a head. Like the without having pixels, a lot of pixels because it's just segments one, one, one. So it's very easy. And then I want to see more the difficult, like th like this one, because there's a lot of segments, so a lot of pixels. And I want to see to make more if how to how ones that have more segments in there. So yeah. Let's start first with the cube. So as you can see, that is a cube. Um, yeah, very easy. That is, I shaped it as a head, just like 50, 50, 50, just do like that. So yeah. Um, to get started, let's open our material manager, which yours will big chance be just sitting here, right here. So you can have that. My mind is like here, so let's just put it right here. Yes. So your may will be this one, materials. Double click on it to make a new mat. And then when you have it, Let's, uh, let's do reflections off. If you have a lower version in uh, R16, then will be big chance to be specular. But I don't have that because in 16 you don't have that. So okay, we okay. So go to color, and then textures. Click on this, on that dot dot dot. Okay, it's a little thing I made. Uh, Minecraft. Okay, Minecraft and Minecraft human skins. So yeah, these are almost all skins. So let's choose a. Easy skin, uh, let's just choose. Uh, what can I choose? What can I choose? Ah, oh, man. It's just, uh, let's just choose this one. Oh, wait. Not this one, let's just choose. Because that has a uh, double layer. Okay. Oh, Jesus, I'm making the fault. No, just. just uh, Jesus, man. Okay, let's just do this one, okay? <laughs> okay, we get this one, this skin. Click on sampling uh, on none. Then it's not blurry. Then okay, have we done that? So we made it. So first we need to get the thing, get it, grab it, and then just drag it onto it. As you can see, it's now on here. It's on it. Oh wait, I've got to do something already. Also, we need material editor. You go to alpha. You go to alpha. You click on dot dot dot. In the same skin, just like that. And then none. I don't know why I did this, but for some reason, I don't know what's wrong with me. I have no idea. So we, we have it around the block, as you can see. Now you need to get it on make edible. You can click on this. Or you can, I think, click on this. Make, so right click on the cube right here. And click on make edible. Or on this. Or, or click on C. It also be make it edible. Okay. So we have done this. Now um, need to go to here layouts. Your yours will be here, all the layouts, and then click on PP UV edit. Bring it here. You see, very easily. You just need the normal startup. So this is a normal startup you have now, or maybe you don't. Click on layout and click on P PP UV edit. Okay, now you're brought here. As you can see, it's totally weird. You don't, maybe don't know what is this, why is this. Okay, I will explain to you. So this is the 
the, uh, the UV edit where you do all the UV mapping. So um, this is all the UV mapping. So here's the project. So you can uh, put, make the shape or something and transform and all of the two. I will explain later. So um, first, if you want to do your stuff or UV map your block, first you need to click on the block. So you got the cube here. We have it here. Yeah. It was rename it to head. Okay. So we cut the cube. And when you click on it, you can normally click on a control A. Oops, I messed up a little bit. Or let's just make it easier. Let's go oopsie doopsie. Click on wrong thing. Let's go back to startup. And then click on uh, here. Polygons. So now it's all selected. Now go to uh, the UV mapping again. And I'm just gonna drink some water. My, my mouth is kinda drying up. <sighs> so, okay. Then click on Control A to select everything. As you can see, everything selected. So, now, if you want, now normally uh, you wanna shape it. Uh, you want to shape your block kinda here into this thing. So, then you need to go. So first you get this uh, right here, you this part, you click on polygons mode. As you can just do it also just right here, without going back to startup, I don't know. Then you click on UV polygons, and bring it here. That is the little thing you need. That will select, in that selection, in that thing, will be in your uh, block, as you can see. Okay, my cow, my mouth is drying up. <laughs> Okay, so you click on this, and yeah, polygons mode. But if you just click on this, and everything's selected now. So you see this pop up. If you, yeah, this normally should pop up. Then you can go over to here, to materials. See these materials? Click on that. Then you see all maybe um, like mat, meat uh, stuff. So here you see your little thing here, your little skin that you're using for this. Click on check, and this will happen. Oh yes, yeah. This will happen. Do you see this happening? If you don't see it, go to UV matching and then show ma show UV mesh. Click on this right here to sh let it show if, if it's not standing there. So yeah, if it's standing there, then good job for you. Then you can... Oh yeah, god. Now normally when you selected it, you now normally need to click on this one. Right here to move, the move tool. To move your little thing. As you can see, we can move this and it will all select it what we want it to be. We can go to scales. Then uh, scale it down, but as you can see, it's not really that easy. Like you need to make it perfectly, and yeah, it's not really gonna work, is it? So, um, oh yeah, if you go to if you go to projects, you can go cubic and make it back original, big again. So okay, so make it easy actually because we want it to have perfectly in the face because we want this one. The head being here so to do this we need to go to transform we can like kind of select it if you want to be oh i've got this is like a once i did some time ago so you don't need to look at this ones oopsie, oopsie. La, 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 la. so okay as you can see the other thing first also in snapping to make it easier to move we go to move right here like you, like you go to snapping then on your move, you click on 3.125. Then it'll be easier to move, kind of like. It has more a easier, like, for me. Not that, yeah. It's more corrected. So, okay, we have scale. And we want to uh, scale actually the little thing we have, like right here. We want to scale it. So, so maybe asking, what do I do? What, what, how do I scale this? Yeah, you click on this, but like. What do I need to scale for it? Yeah, good question. So the thing is, we want that X and I is actually kind of like the X and Y. We want to have it perfectly. We want to have the pixels. So this is actually the pixels. This matters, as you maybe don't know. So the the, the face we don't know the pixels yet, so we can see it. So normally get your skin to where you put it. Oops. Um, do, 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 do. Oops. Oopsie. So, this is our little thing. 
So go to properties. And yeah, that is your uh, little thing. Oh wait, let, no, just click on double click on it. Then zoom in. And this is your character, your skin. But as you can see, this is your head. And we need to know how much pixels this is. So let's count. It is perfectly, you can actually see it, so it's not difficult. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 pixels. So the width is 8. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right here is the, the height. The height. So as you can see. It's so this is like this. So this is actually the Y and this is it. Y Z. As you can see. And um, so we need to scale it. Yeah? We know the pixels for the head. It's all eight, eight by eight. But the thing is, not perfectly, because we can just put eight in it and then instantly we will like, okay, Chase, Boya, like it's not gonna help. As you can see, it doesn't help. So to fix this do this the right way we need to do it kind of like you know in a little navic way so first we click on the skin and click on properties yes properties and then we get the right thing dimension so we need to do the dimension so the height is dimension the 64 and the width is the 32 yeah sorry for my for my pronunciation my mouth is kind of like <clears throat> Very dry today. Mm. I'm really sorry. But okay. So we got here dimensions 64 and 32. So, so we know the dimensions now and the pixels. So now the scale of X. So that is the height. So now this 8 pixels. So let's do 8. And then this thing right here. So okay, we're back. Sorry for that. So let's do this. So um, we know the pixels of x. So let's do 8 divided by 64, as you can see. Now don't click on enter because then it will do this. Hey, we don't want that. So just click on the way or something like that. Just don't click on enter, okay? I had this problem and I was very confused. So now we're just going to do the, just click on right here or something like that. Or just, just go to the next one. Just don't click on enter. That's the same thing like apply and it will, um, automatically change into the scale you did and that's not good but on me so now we got the y so it's also 8 so that's 8 divided by 32 and click on this and then yeah we got it perfectly so now click on apply and look we got it we got the end it's a perfect pixel so now let's move it around Okay, we don't have to perfectly right. Can I don't know if that easy? Okay, we got it. As you can see, we got it perfectly. The head is perfectly. Like it fits perfectly in there. But now every side of it is the same. It's like the same. We don't want that, right? So to fix this, it's very easily to fix this. So um, we want we want actually this one also going to here, here, and here, and here for the narrow parts. But we don't want to move this one. So, click on the uh, sp space bar. Just click on this. And it will bring you to this. Or you can just click on this. And then click on control. Keep it clicked. Don't click on, uh, s click on shift because then it will add more actually. Click on control. And then normally if you do this, it will get rid of it. Oops. Normally, if you do it now like this, so normally, I think, oops, I think so, yeah, right? Okay, it looks good. So, we have done this. Then go back to the move tool and then move it. Look. Not a part. Oopsie doopsie. Oh, it looks like it didn't do it very perfectly, right? So now, if you move the tool, everything will move with it. You can see all the sides. So we want to move this side right here. We want to, so you want this one to be perfectly fitting in here. Let's get perfect in there. 
So as you can see, I put it also in here. Keep it perfectly because we don't want that little sides also being so annoying. Come on, you stupid thing. Ah. We got it perfectly. Yes, we did. So we did that one also perfectly. Then get again here, control right here. Then again move to. And then normally we want to move it again. And now let's do it another side right here. Okay, we've done this also. Then again, uh, control do this away. Move to. And again, move this. So you just need to keep doing it. It's very easy. So I'm kind of like going fast a little bit, but it's very easy actually. You just do it a little bit. Our pigeons um, kind of speed up this process because it's kind of really easy. So yeah, we just troll and move. Pigeons want to speed this up a little bit to get this going. So yeah, maybe you can hear this, maybe not, I don't care. Okay then, let's do this also again. Let's move it down. So we're actually done. As you can see, this was the actually the head. That's um, how we actually, yeah. This is how you how you UV map. It's actually very easy. This was actually just with a normal head, just one normal one pixel. It was very easily. Just check how long it is still. Oh, we have some time, I guess. Are we sure? No. Oh, it is. Well, I kind of see in shock. It was like, huh? Is it paused? No. So, there's 17 minutes already. Um. Hmm. Good question. Um, yeah, I, I think we can wrap this up for now, actually. Um. Yeah, let's just wrap this up for a moment. The next episode, we will talk about more difficult. Uh, yeah. UV mapping. It's actually just really the same, but just how it, how to get it perfectly, really. So yeah. So this was actually the head. I hope you liked this episode of uh, Super Tips and, Tips and Tricks about UV mapping. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. I will I will lovely answer your questions about this. Um, also, sorry if I don't always upload that much, but I will start. I will I'm going to do it more often. So I hope you liked the video and subscribe. Don't forget that, of course. And tell you all your friends about this uh, tutorial. And let's see. And also tell me if this tutorial helped or not. If you think like, yeah, this helped me. Uh, I kind of finally found the kids UV mapping. Then I'm very pleased because I, would, I love helping people. So yeah, dudes. See you later. Alligators.